Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to do self pampering like facial at home treatment. Before I jump into the video, quick disclaimer, everything I do, I do for myself. I'm not telling you that this is the way you have to do it. I'm not telling you to extract your blackheads at home. I'm just telling you that I do it and I'm just showing you the way I do it. Talk to your physician, talk to your beauty therapist or dermatologist, etc. If you should do what I'm doing, uh, if it's a good idea for your skin situation, so just... Anyway, let's go back to the video and show you how I do it myself. So I did already wash my face uh, in the shower with the T3 Skin Clearing Facial Wash, the one from the body shop. Now this is gonna be weird, I mean my setup, but I can't do much. This is what I have here underneath me. And this thing I bought from Lidl, it's a um, like a home facial spa thing, you see? It's already steaming. Uh, this is obviously to steam my face, so I want to steam my face just a bit. And then I want to exfoliate. Okay, I've been steaming my face for a few minutes. And next I'm using the simple um, clear skin oil balancing facial scrub, this one. And this is just to exfoliate my face. I'm using like, I don't know, like this much. The steamer is still working. I will still go back to it. Once I apply the, I think I need a bit more, the exfoliator. I'm going back to the steamer for another few minutes with the exfoliant on my face. I will do a bit more of a like facial massage or you know just to loosen up the pores, the blackheads. And next up I will just wash the exfoliant off with this, it's a I need to find the name of this. It's a sponge from the sea, but I don't know what's the exact name of this. I like this. Um, Somebody is selling them here where I live. And I prepared a bowl here with some just warm water just to get rid of the exfoliator. By the way, everything you see, I'm doing really gentle. I know it might seem like, you know, like maybe a bit rough but it's not at all I'm really careful now I will keep steaming my face for another few minutes I think I'm done with the steam just bear in mind my skin is sensitive but not so much and I don't have um, like tendency to get these broken capillaries and etc so if you do uh, have this just be careful uh, sometimes it's not even recommended to do this if you have this problem especially people are getting a, a lot of uh, broken capillaries around the nose so just please please this is my way of doing my facial at home so I'm getting rid of the steamer and I'm coming closer to you so I can finish off with this bagger's blackheads. Now the next step which I'm doing for myself is extracting blackheads. I know you shouldn't extract your blackheads, you should go to professional. I've prepared some paper napkins, like the kitchen roll, however you call them. Until my skin is still uh, warm, I'm just gonna extract these few buggers here. Okay, I'm being really, really gentle again. Uh, I have this tool for blackheads uh, removal, but I tend to use it around my nose really gentle. I find that my fingers work better. By the way, it is here. I mean, my fingers with uh, napkins, the way they do it in the saloon, which I'm going. Something else before I forget to mention is if you try to squeeze a pimple or a blackhead and we all know that everybody squeezes pimples and blackheads so if you try to do it and the pimple or the blackhead doesn't seem to come out you know like easy you feel like you need to apply more pressure just don't leave it it means that it's not ready yet so that's why I'm 
I keep checking, checking, you know, I press just a bit and whatever is ready to come out will come out. Whatever is not will stay there until the next time when it's ready. I think I'm done with the squeezing. By the way, I forgot to mention that if you don't have this um, uh, facial steamer, even though the one which I bought from Lidl is uh, Silver Crest, I believe their line. I'm not happy with this line of product Silver Crest. Uh, I find that most of them are breaking or they don't work after one time of use or something. This is still alive. Uh, it was quite cheap, by the way, this steamer. But if you don't have facial steamer, you can use just a pot to boil water, you know, like on the stove, whatever. Just put a towel on top of your head. I guess you've seen that maybe many times on YouTube or anywhere. But I'm just saying, you know, for the ones of you who don't know, you don't need a steamer, I mean. When I do like extraction of blackheads on my uh, face, I want to always want to use something like antiseptic toner or something not just just never ever i never use tonics with alcohol anyway uh, toners with alcohol i meant so the one which i'm trying for the last few, um, few i don't know months is this one from simple this is kind of skin soothing facial toner this one this is not antiseptic as far as i know but it's uh, what is this 100 percent alcohol free definitely it's more like a soothing toner just after the extraction so if you do try facial um, at home, don't forget to get some some of these toners, antiseptic ones. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna do extractions on your skin, especially. Okay, toner is done. Now the next thing which I'll be um, using is salicylic acid. This is my go-to uh, BHA acid in general. Since my skin is uh, oily and I have tendency to like forming blackheads, whiteheads, etc. I'm using for the last, I don't know, quite a long time. Actually, salicylic acid 2% from the ordinary. It's really affordable as well. It was 5, 6 euro, I believe. And the most important is they do deliver here where I live. So I could, you know, like easily get the products. I have the glycolic acid toner. I'll show you something else which I'm uh, using all the time and I'm I like it I mean like I j just generally like the ordinary products the only thing I, I'm not I don't really like is the fact that you just get one active ingredient in one product meaning that you need to have many products now the next thing which I'll be using is a serum and it's from the ordinary again marine marine hyaluronics this is the one this feels like water on the skin it's so lightweight now hyaluronic acid tends to be a bit sticky and I don't really like the feeling of it on my skin, especially uh, if I'm gonna be wearing... I mean like, of course different formulations act differently on skin, on different skin, but on my oily skin it's quite often that hyaluronic acid will be too sticky and uh, I don't like this feeling but this one is like water, it doesn't have any stickiness to it whatsoever Okay, next up I'm using uh, an eye cream. Um, this is the one from Kios. Ignore the packaging. It's just that we split the cream with my sister so we can try it out, both of us. I have really oily skin but dry under eyes. Uh, and we both like the cream, really. It's the avocado cream. I will insert photo here, maybe. But, but it's nice. The cream is really nice, hydrating. I mean, like I found that it's one of the things which is worth the hype. It was quite a hype product the last year, I believe, or the year before. Next up, I will be using this um, moisturizer, facial moisturizer from La Roche Posay. By the way, I like the brand generally, maybe from all of the like brands which you can find in the pharmacy. La Roche Posay is one of my favorites. Uh, I'm using Hydra Face Intense Leger, I believe it's pronounced. This is the one, and you can, I don't know if you can see that it's almost empty. And the only reason I won't repurchase it uh, is just because I want to try something different, obviously. Just because I like trying different things. It's a pump. You see, it's almost uh, not coming out. But it's so lightweight. If you have oily skin, something which I 
pay attention to like I really like when doing facial at home is doing a bit of massage on my face always that feels so clean and so soft now something which I didn't do today but I usually always do when I'm doing facial at home is applying a mask now since I'm trying the masks from Lidl, I will update you on how they perform and etc. Today I chose not to, just because I used the salicylic acid uh, uh, solution from the Ordinary, the Marine Hyaluronics as well, like I told you. I don't think that my skin needs uh, just yet another mask. Yesterday I used purifying mask, uh, a little cyan, cyan, I don't know what's the, how you pronounce the name. But I will try to do a video in English as well, since I'm filming this uh, for the Bulgarian uh, channel. I will try to twist up the things and let you know how the masks perform as well on this channel. But last but not least is the lip balm which I'll be using. And by the way, if you want to use a mask, just go for it after the toner. This is the way I use it. Then the one, the thing which I'll be using for my lips is Pow Pow Scrub and Nourish. Uh, I don't need scrubbing on my lips. I did that last night and uh, it's really gentle. It's really nice. And I like the fact that they're two in one product. So you don't need two separate things. So I think that was it, that was my facial at home, you don't need hundreds of products to do it, but again, again, if you decide to do it, like I do it, be careful with the extractions, if you do extractions, never do them uh, with your bare fingers, nails, etc. Use gloves, use a paper, use, I mean, use tools, if you know how to use the uh, extraction tool, and you saw that I was really gentle with my black head, so... And yeah, I hope you found this helpful. It was really helpful for me today, for my skin. And uh, I hope it wasn't so weird. I'm doing all of this on my desk. I mean, it, this place is not really meant to do spa and facials. And if that was helpful or interesting for you, please give me thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Since my channel is so, so baby small, I need all the help possible. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.